Yes guys, episode 8 of our Road to Glory, you know what it is. We've got 14 games coming up in today's video. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back lads, welcome back. So, one win in the last five games. We need to start winning again, I don't know what's going on. That game against Fulham was a horror show. If we're going to start winning again, a lad who's in my good books, Ishan Sacco, he's got to keep scoring, keep getting assists. He's been so good this season. 11 assists already, 14 goals. But a man who's not in my good books, Matthew Platt. One of our day ones, centre back. His contract is almost up this season. So I went into talks with him. I wanted him as a rotation player. So I'm not going to be playing him that much. But I don't want him to go anyway. Offered him 2k a week as a contract. A bit of a pay rise. His agent was just fighting me the whole way. Wasn't having it. So talks are falling down. He is getting put straight on the transfer list. I can't let him go for a free. I've got to try and get some money for him. He's valued at about a mil. So hopefully we get some cash for him. But wasting no time. Kicking off the video. We've got some highlights to get into. Got Bristol City first, and as you can see, Paco Gallardo, the goalkeeper, the youth player, makes his first start for the club. I'm looking forward to seeing what he's about. In the snow away days, are we ready for this one? Let's get into this one. Early doors, Tom Beelan had an effort from distance. Keep forced a good save. Then Beatty Rosada, defensive responsibilities again. He's so good defensively. He always makes up the ground, wins the ball back. Chalaba, you can see the runner, picks up Ellis Bird. Half chance, half chance. Down the other end though, it was all about Paco Gallardo. I wanted to see what he was about. Give him a little bit of first team action. Great save there. Going into the second half, as you can see, Ellis Bird has gone down injured. Didn't, again, didn't see what it was until the replay came up. The keeper's landed on him. Gonna have to wait till the end of this game to see the injury news. So on comes Nene, our scouser in the team. Next passage of play from the goal kick. We start deep in our own half. Romeo Hutton on the ball. Drills it into Nene, his first involvement of the game. Back to Romeo Hutton. Decides he's going to keep going forwards. More on the little run. He's never in the final third, ever. He never gets her. Checks back, gives it to Nene. One touch, goes and gets us into the lead. Lovely stuff from him. That is Romeo Hutton's first assist in a season and a half. I didn't realise last season. He didn't get any assists. Any. So, just goes to show, he's got a little bit more about him. A little bit more than what I thought. Next passage of play from a corner. Mamadou Sako gets his first for the club. Secures the three points. He's a bit of a character, Sako. Don't know how I feel about this celebration. No, I'm not going to lie, I don't like it. Don't like it, not a fan. 15 to go. Bristol City on the attack down the left-hand side. George Williams wins it back. Tom Beelin, a bit weak in the challenge there. And then Hutton is caught out of right back. Looks like the clean sheet is gone. But Gallardo's there with the save. Secures the clean sheet. What a performance for him on his debut. 8.6 match rating. He was absolutely class. Absolutely class. But the news went from a good thing to a bad thing. It's happened again. Another ACL injury. Ellis Bird out for the rest of the season. Seven months. I can't believe it. So with Boatang out injured, Ellis Bird out injured, we've got a hole in the middle of the team now. And that hole is going to have to be filled by Joaquin Abanez. He is that youth player that we brought through. The Argentinian centre mid. Hopefully he kicks on and does well for us. Because I mean, I'm not going to lie. I did not expect us to have an injury crisis at this point in the season. 36 minutes on the clock. Goalkeeper launches it long, but Platt's there. Wins the ball. Plays into Williams, back to Joaquin Abanez. He has a shot from distance. Oh my word, what a strike that is. That is truly sensational. Little spaghetti arms. What a goal that is. I tell you what, look how far he sets it outside the post. I could watch this again and again and again. That is truly gorgeous. What a strike that is. Anyway, while I'm still pretty gassed about that, Brandon Rose is not a centre mid, is he? I've been trying to play him there. I'm trying to force it. It's not really happening. Doesn't win the ball. Then Gallardo could do nothing about that. Barnsley going level things up. Going into the second half, Ryan Varga rattled the crossbar with that effort there. And then Matthew Platt and what is probably going to be his last game for the club. He's weak in the tackle. We get caught out at the back stick. Barnsley find themselves in front. So down the other end, we're about 20 to go. We're searching for that equaliser, searching. Looking at Banners, I for goal, just drags that one wide. So I had to make the triple sub. On comes got Sacco and Beedlin. I had rested all of the first team lads because we've got a big game coming up next. Gave them about 20 minutes to see what they were about. Down the other end, Barnsley. Post just keeps that one out. And then Gallardo with a great save there for that one. So into stoppage time. Time running out. Ishan Sacco on the ball. Runs into the box. His shot just gets saved. So brutal. We're chasing, chasing this one. Looking for anything. This one here, rattled the post. Oh, it's not good enough, boys. Not good enough. So the only positive we can take is this goal from Yoko Banners. I mean, I've got, I've got to watch it again. It's just so damn good. So damn good. I did not know he had that in his locker. Did not know he had that. Did not know he was capable of it. He is so far out. It's got to be, what, 30 yards out? It's this angle. This is the angle I want to watch again and again and again. So damn good. 
Anyway, like I said, that was Matthew Platt's last game for the club. Got over a mil for him. I'm very happy with that, considering he was going to go over to three anyway. And the next set of highlights was against Stoke away. Off to the Britannia. It's the hardest place in the country to go on an away day. But luckily, the sun was shining. It was not, it was not a rainy midweek game. Early doors, Beedlin threatened with that effort off the crossbar. And then he was in the box in the second half. I can't believe he's missed two. Missed two, two great chances. It's not often that happens for him. Late in the second half, deep in our own half. Malcolm on the ball here, charging down the left, checks back, gives it to Mamadou Sako, then into Ishan Sako. Chalabot on the ball, switches it out to the right hand side. Robbie Gotts picks it up, challenging into the box, got nothing on, gets it to Nene, then to Sako, he gets taken out. Slips through Viti Rosado out of nowhere, into the roof of the net, goes and gets us into the lead. Down the other end, Damon had returned in goal, showing us exactly what he's about. He's not going nowhere anytime soon, I just wanted to give Gallardo a little bit of game time, because I felt like he deserved it. Five minutes from time, Reese Oxford, calm as you like. So composed, carries the ball out, a bit rear Ferdinand-esque. We then work up the pitch, then we go out to the right, Hutton on the ball. Not really got many options, he's looking for Gotts, can't really find him, he checks back. Just realises we've got to just keep hold of the ball, that's all we've got to do. But then, Sacco tees up Beedlin, goes and makes it two. Don't give him three chances, you can't give him three chances in a game and not expect him to bag one. It's his first goal in four games, considering how many goals that he picks up for us. It's basically a goal drill. But nevertheless, we'll take the three points, we'll take the clean sheet, away at Stoke. Look what it means to the boys, look what it means to the fans. Up next was Reddin, I decided to keep the banners in the starting lineup over Nene, because I felt like he deserved it, I mean he's been classed the games that we've been using him. So considering he scored against Reddin on his debut in the last video, I was hoping to see if he could put in another good performance. Early doors, he sets the tone brilliantly here, wins the ball, he's got a couple of runners, decides he don't want any of them, goes right to the edge of the box, has a shot, gets blocked, falls to Sacco on the volley, we go 1-0 up, goalie's had a nightmare. Goalie has had a nightmare, but it doesn't matter, we'll take it. Talking of nightmares, now we know Mamadou Sacco's got moments of madness in him. I don't know what on earth he is doing here. What is that? Shocking. Tries to make up for it, doesn't make up for it. Damon makes up for it. Gets us out of jail with that one. 15 minutes on the clock, Romero Hutton rolls it into Abanez, then gives it to Sacco. He's got a runner, you can see Abanez. Picks, it, picks him out, in the box, checks back, plays it off. Robbie Gotts hits it. Good save from the keeper. Down the other end, Reading did find themselves back on level terms. Poor goal to concede that one. So coming up to the hour mark, Sacco on the ball here, on the halfway line. Gives it to Tom Beedlin. Trying it for the pass, doesn't win it. Then gets flattened. It's gone down a bit easy there. It's gone down a bit easy. Ref gives a yellow. Resulting free kick. Keep an eye on knocking the banners. Keep an eye on him. Wait, there he is. Now, one such. Bang! He's done it again. <laughs> Give it over to Lee Judges. What a strike. Oh, this boy has got long shots in him. Oh, I'm so gassed. So, so, so hyped. Honestly, having a midfielder who can hit the back of the net from 30 yards out. Doesn't matter where you are on the pitch, he can find the back of the net. I'm telling you, he has got a big career up in front of him. Big career. He's got no right to shoot from there. No right at all. It's a worldie. Secures the three points for us. What a performance from this boy. It's a shame he's got the spaghetti arms. He's got that weird little glitch that goes on with youth players sometimes. They get weird looking arms. But I'm not going to lie. I don't care about his arms. If he keeps banging in goals from 30 yards, he can play every game. Every game. With Boateng injured and Bird injured, he's going to be getting a lot of game time this season. If you're good enough, you're old enough. So he's staying in the lineup. Going into the FA Cup, look who it is. Look who we got. Round three, we've got Fulham. Now these lot, you know they've done us twice this season in the league. Both games we were so poor and they were class. We were poor, they were class, worst mix up. We know what they're about, we know what their team's about. We know Gazaniga's solid in goal, Wilson's decent, and Mayor was the one to watch out for. Need to get revenge. Need to get revenge on these lot. We've got to show a better performance than we have done against them. First three minutes in, Fulham work the ball down the right, but Romeo Hutton strong in the tackle and gives it to Urbanez. He then rolls it through to Chalabar. Saka picks it up, you can see Beedlin screaming for it. Gets in the box, has a shot. There's Gazaniga, and we know he's good, we know he's good. We're going to test him, we've got to test him properly. A moment of weakness from Sacco there. Damon has to make not just one save, not just two saves, but he had to make three. Sensational saves to keep this one nil-nil. Coming up to the end of the first half, Joe Bryan, one of my favourite players, he's absolutely class. Works it down the left, Fulham turn on the tiki tacker. They then carve us open, the ball does end up in the back of the net, but the Lino give it as offside. It's about time the officials start giving us stuff. Anyway, 35 minutes in, a hopeful through ball gets played in behind our back line. Now I told Cut Malcolm, if Wilson stands you up, just take him out. It's entirely my fault. Probably shouldn't have told him to do that, it's definitely a red card. It might not look like it live, but in the replay, when you see how bad this tackle actually is, it's disgusting. Look, he's jumped in, two foot, ah, oh, it's horrible. So we had to go to a 4-4-1, obviously with 10 men. Put Beedlin at centre-back, Oxford at right-back, Hutton at left-back. 
Ibanez and Chalobah are going to have to do so much running. So much running. Because the dynamic of this game has completely changed now. We've got to just sit in, try and dig out a defensive performance, see if we can nick a chance here or there. Tom Beevlin, well in the tackle, wins the ball, carries it forward a couple of yards, plays it out wide to Robbie Gotts. Loads of time, plays it into Ibanez, then to Oxford, then to Chalabar, then to, then to Sacco. It's glorious football. Ibanez puts it back to Gotts, then back to Ibanez. He's looking for Chalabar, he finds him, swivels, top bins. That is glorious football. That is total football, honestly. It's a truly wonderful goal. It's one of the best goals that we've scored in this series, without a doubt. Great goal from Chalabar. He don't normally get forwards. He's now he's got, we know he's got a strike from the edge of the box, but I did not know he had that. He's got good feet for a big man. Gazzini got no chance. No chance. So 1-0 up. The game is right in position now. Obviously, we're down to 10 men. We're just going to defend and try and see it out. Fulham got the ball in the back of the net again, but it was offside again. Just going to show the football and gods are with us on this one. So we've not long to go. The substitutions are going to be so crucial because when we brought on, needed to just hit the ground running straight away. Brought on Josh Kay, brought on Thomas Lamb, moved him into centre-back, put Beedlin back into midfield. I felt like his height would be important for the last, last passages of play. So into stoppage time, it looked like the performance was coming home. It looked like we'd done an absolute job on Fulham. Stoppage time is pretty much up at this point. Fulham break down our right-hand side. They've got three in the box. Ball gets crossed in. Damon just comes and collects. I thought it was a penalty, but the ref didn't give it. He played for full time. So glad we've done Fulham. I'm so glad. I'm doing my head in. Couldn't lose to them for a fair time this season. It's a great performance for the boys. We're going to have to wait and see who we get in the next round. So we've got a couple of league games now. Off to the Vitality against Bournemouth. Like I said, I've got a lot of time for them. I do like Bournemouth. Sam Billin is one of the players I had scouted. He's on my he's on my watch list for next season, potentially. Early doors, they were the better side. A great chance there. This one went just wide. Weren't really showing a lot in this one. Coming up to the hour mark, Josh K wins the ball. BT plays it into Tom Beedlin. Then rolls it out to Nathaniel Calibre. You can see the option. He picks out Ibanez instead. He runs wide, creates the gap. Robbie Gotts goes and steals the three points for us. Proper, proper smash and grab that one. Proper smash and grab. We, we, we had that one highlight and that was it. Honestly, <laughs> we did not deserve three points in that one. But I won't complain. We'll take it happily. Next game is against Birmingham. Brandon Rose got himself an assist. Teeing up Nene to put us 1-0 up. Cut up to the end of the first half. Gallardo, great save there. Tips that one around the post. Cut up to the hour mark. Again, Gallardo, point blank. He is so good, so, so good. We've definitely got a player there. Going deep into the second half. We win the ball deep in our own half. Alho, not really got many options. Plays it down the line. Thomas Lamb, sends it into Brandon Rose. Now he's a player I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for him to do something magical. Watch this, skins one, skins two, gets into the box. What is that? What is that? He can do something like magic. He can do magic like that. And then he just goes and ruins it by doing things like that. I mean, here he loses the ball, then gets a silly yellow card. Now we've got defender counter attack. Alho makes up for it. Great interception. Sends it down the line. Varga, not really got many options, gives it back to him. Varga then picks it back up. Gives it to Josh K. He's in the pocket. Not really got many options. Just really, just patient. Hits it. Top bins. Oh, he gets his customary goal this season. Cut him open and he bleeds blue. He is so damn good. So damn good. Honestly, I love him. Great squad player. And that goal was enough to secure another three points, another clean sheet, and another win. Back into the FA Cup, and look at it is. It's my old hometown, Brighton, in the FA Cup. Premier League opposition. Abanez keeps his place in the starting lineup as does Damon. Now this one, now we know what Premier League teams are about. We know that when we played Burnley a few times, they've done us and they've played us off the park. Needed to be calm, composed, Chalabar doing exactly that. Carries it forward. Saka picks it up. Slots it through. Viti Rosado into the box. What's he got? You know he's got goals in him. Tell you what, this guy, I, when I signed him, I did not think he was going to be as good as he has been. 23 minutes in, we worked the ball through the middle of the pitch. So calm. Sacco, then tees up. Kirk Malcolm, what is he doing in the box? Gets his first goal for the club. Oh, honestly, can't write it. Our youth players have been so solid. So, so solid. The Gallardo in the stick has been good. The Banners has come leaps and bounds. And now Malcolm's getting goals as well. Lovely stuff for our little fat Scotsman. But this is a Premier League team we're playing against. Any moment of weakness, any lapse of concentration, you're going to get punished. Go out and grab one back. And in this one here, look at this. Oh, it's unreal. McAllister is another player I've got on my watch list. I'm interested in getting him next season. So, 70 minutes on the clock. Abanez running, dribbling, trying to get into the box. Another decent effort. Down the other end, Amadou Sacco trying his hardest to take out the striker. Hits the post. Malcolm, calm as you like, carries it out. We can hit the counter-attack. Down the line, one touch by Viti into Sacco, one touch to Beedlin. You can see Sacco, great little chip over the top. Sacco, he's one on one, he's got a finish right at the goalie, right at the goalie. Really expect him to do better there. Right and then go long, don't quite win the header. 
Mamadi Osako sweeping up at the back. Plays it to Romeo Hutt and he switches it out to Kirk Malcolm. Plays it into the middle to Chalabar. Got loads of options. Plays it into Abanez. You can see the runner from Romeo. Picks up Robbie Gotts instead. Robbie Gotts charges down the right. He's got three in the middle. He picks out Ishan Sako. Kota makes it 3 2. We the Brighton players sink to the floor. Oh, boys. I went mental when that goal went in. Absolutely mental. I feel like the cup run is going well this season. You remember he saying back in episode one, we do care about domestic cups. They are important. We do want to pick up a trophy along the way. Knocking out Premier League opposition is a big, big achievement. Can't understate that. Now, a player I want to talk about in that game was Nathaniel Chalabar. He goes under the radar quite a lot, but 22 passes, every single one of them hit the mark. Won the ball back four times. Solid, solid performance. He's definitely a Premier League player. We're going to have a mission trying to keep a hold of him for next season. So looking at the FA Cup, because obviously that's what all the talk is about now. How far can we go on this run? Looking at the draw, we've got Derby next away. Look at this, look. Liverpool have drawn Man City. This is, this is great. This is absolutely brilliant. Because one of the big boys is going to get knocked out. Anything can happen in that one. And then yeah, looking at the other draws, Villa have got Leicester. Again, perfect. Premier League teams facing each other. Depending on how these results go, we could have a great route to the final. A great route, I'm telling you. I'm quietly, quietly confident. Quietly confident we can do sack this season. But we'll come back to that in a little bit. Because with the boys in flying form, we've got five more league games to get through before that FA Cup game against Derby. Up first, I simmed it against Nottingham Forest. First time I've done it this series, I felt like we should do it maybe a little bit more often. Won that one 1-0. But up next, we'll welcome in Swansea. Abanez keeps his place in the lineup once again. And this one against Swansea, early doors. Damon, great save there. Another great save moments later. And then, knocking Abanez, carries the ball forward, checks back. Plays it into Tommy Beedlin, slips through Vita Rizardo, come breaking in off the wing. That's a shot, good save. I've seen him score those. A goalless first half doesn't really happen that much. Doesn't happen that much. So we have to go again, calm, play it around the back. Tom Beedlin, what have you done there? What have you done there? He's absolutely sold us short. Sacco takes one for the team as a definition of taking one for the team. Had to be done, it's definitely a red card. There's no question marks about it. The resulting free kick went just over. Justice was not served. I mean, it's horrible. Shouldn't be taking out players like that. It's, it's horrible. It's dirty. It's, it's not nice football. But I do not care as long as we get the three points. It's all that matters. So, Tom Beedlin on the ball here, charging into their box after messing up for that red card. He then dives in their box. Honestly, it's such a dive. What is this? There's no contact, man. Unreal. So, Ichan Sako stepped up, slotted it away into the bottom corner. Down to 10 men, obviously 1-0 up. At this point, it looked like it could go either way. Damon takes an age to get off his line, but he makes up for it. Stops the counter-attack. And then a corner gets played short. Poor effort into the box. Chalabar then releases Ishan Sako. Got pace to burn. You know he's got pace. You can see the runners. Waits for it. Plays a great pass through to Viti Rizardo. Gets in, trolls the defender off. One-on-one. 2-0. -on -one. Don't make a mistake by that one. So, 2-0 up. In cruise control at this point. It's all about just time. Seeing it out. Went to 4-4-1 four -four again. Obviously down to 10 men. Thomas Lamb on the ball here. Rolls it out to Kurt Malcolm. Got loads of time. Picks it out, Tom Beedlin. Again, watch this for a pass. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous pass. Sacco, one touch on the volley. Everything he touches turns to gold at the moment. So, with a few minutes to go, a throw on Brandon Rose up front in his natural position, in quote marks, because the game's already won at this point. Picks up the ball there, gives it to Kirk Malcolm. Great pass over the top. Even better first touch. One touch, hits it, but he's lively to it. Goes and gets a goal. Hopefully, hopefully that will kick him on and now he'll start playing well. Hopefully, hopefully. And look who that is in the league. It's the reverse fixture against Derby. Now this one is all about just testing the waters to see what they're going to be about in that cup game. See if we can get any, any little bit of tactical insight onto what they're about, what they don't like, what they do like. Early doors, we win the ball from, from a goal kick. Always a good time when that happens. Tom Beedlin picks it up it out wide. Not really got much on, chips it in. Falls a bit funnily. We end up winning a corner. Result in corner gets whipped in. And Ishan Sako with the header. How is it in? Bullies his defender. So, early doors, we know that they don't like set pieces. Down the other end, they equalise pretty quickly. And then, their own set pieces, weak, very weak. Saka picks it up, similar to what he did in the Swansea game. Carries it forward, he's just waiting for that right option. Waiting for the option, there it is. Rolls it through to Urbanez, he's through on goal, one on one. How is that not a red card? How is that not a red card? That is 100% a red. It's a last man. I remembered, in the last game we played him, they were so dirty, so, so dirty. They just kept taking out our players. I mean, watch this here, look. They've clearly told them, take out Ibanez. That is disgusting. That should be a red as well. But anyway, resulting free kick. Gets flopped in by Ibanez. Reese Oxford powers it in, gets his first goal for the club. Just goes to show, look, our set pieces against these were on point. They were on point. 
It's not all about passing, building up football. Sometimes it's just about putting the ball in the box and winning the header. Coming into the final passage of play, ball gets whipped in, don't end up winning it. Vitya Rosada picks it up, plays it into Nathaniel Chalabar. He's patient, switches it out to Romeo Hutton. He's got a little bit of space, hits it. Goalie saves it, it takes about nine years to get up. Saka makes it 3 0, on we go. And up next, it was welcoming Tom Mintz back to Holker Street. Now, I, mean, I won't lie to you, I spent the whole game just fouling him, just kicking him, just taking him out. Because you can't come back you can't come back here and play well. We can't have that. Early doors, 23 minutes in, we build from the back. Malcolm plays it into Beedlin, gives it into Ishan Sako. You can see the runner, it's little spaghetti arms. Ibanez brings into the box. What's he got? Low driven finish. Secures the three points for us, on we go. And the three points were only a thing because of this save in stoppage time by Damon. What a save that is. Ah, oh, legend. So, penultimate game of the video. Welcome in Huddersfield. Had to go with the rotation team because of the cup game that's coming up next. Now, having won eight games in a row. Eight games in a row. I knew at some point, at some point, it was all going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> it was all going to go horribly wrong. This one against Huddersfield, we just didn't even turn up. We were so bad. Our first chance was in the 67th minute. George Williams got that one there. Gave us a glimmer of hope. But at no point did we look like we were coming back into it when Patrick Brawl went and got sent off. The slowest man in the world. If you get him behind him, there's just no point in even chasing him because he's just already gone. It's down to 10 men. Wasn't really expecting much more at this point. Josh K gets taken out there. That's definitely a red, no? Definitely a red. Then he then gives it back to him. Edge of the box. What's he got? Drags his shot just wide. So the eight game winning run, as I was saying, come to an end. But it's fine because we've got an important cup journey to get on with. So without further ado, Let's get into the cup game against Derby. So the lineup I've gone with Damon in the sticks, Malcolm at left back, Sacco and Oxford as centre backs, Hutton on the right, Chaleba, Beadley and Abanez in the middle, Rosada, Sacco and Gott up top. Here we are, boys. Here we are. Round five of the FA Cup. Oh, I'm so buzzing. Buzzing with this one. Early doors, Derby were the better side. This effort here just went wide. Moments later, they build the ball in our final third. Just trying to keep a shape. Just trying to hold them off. They get they get into the box. Too easy. Hits the post. Sacco tries to clear it. Beadlin, weak, should be stronger there. Danger not gone. Danger still alive. Walker's been back in. Hits the other post. Then Damon with the third save. Oh, honestly, when that happened there, they had three great chances to go into the lead. When that happens, you just know. You just know the footballer gods are with you today. You know this and you know it's with you. Tom Beadlin picks it up here. Rolls it through to Ishan Sacco. One on one. What's he got? Bottom corner. Puts us 1 0 up. In the big games, you need your big players to step up. And he is one of our big players. Steps up beautifully there. We have a corner. Beedlin doesn't quite get there. Sacco keeps the attack alive. Plays it out to Yoki Nabanez. 25 yards out. He's done it. Again. Hits the crossbar. Oh, I tell you what. Anytime he gets the ball edge of the box, I'm looking for that shot. Looking for it. 22 minutes in. Reese Oxford, calm as you like. Wins it. Starts a counter attack. Tom Beedlin on the ball here. Really patient. Carries it 20 yards. Unchallenged. Plays it out to Abanez, then to Sacco. You can see Robbie Gotts behind him. He's calling for it. Picks him out. Hits it. Goes and makes it too. He is another one of our big players. It's about time he stepped up. Coming into the second half, Rosado hit the crossbar with that effort there. But then, but then, this moment here. I'm going to let the Spanish commentator just take it over. Immense Messi. Ancara Messi, Ancara Messi. Ancara Messi, 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 Every time we need someone to step up and does it. Derby grab two late goals, but they don't matter. Because we're into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. So without further ado, let's see how we're getting on. So lads, look at this. Look at the results. West Ham out. Liverpool out. Arsenal out. Watford have knocked out Man United. I'm telling you, we've got a massive chance here. Massive chance of going far in this competition. Looking at the other, other results as well. Leicester and Man City, the only two Prem teams left. Now, I'm not going to tell you who we got in the next round just yet. You're going to have to wait till the next video. What I am going to tell you is we got a home tie and we got one of those two Premier League teams. So we'll leave that one there. And if you want to know who we got in the next round, you have to make sure you check out the next video. But the main event, lads, the main event, 11 games to go. We have got our noses just, just in front by a single point. Fulham have gone on some weird run where they're just drawing every game. They've only lost three this season, which is really weird. But we done them in the cup, so happy days. Not much longer to go in this season. The next video, obviously, we're going to go right to the end of the season. I feel like promotions there or thereabouts, but it's all about the title. That's that's what I care about. We, we pick up silverware this season. That's what we want. We won the League Two title. We didn't win the League One title. Still, we have to pick up a domestic trophy. So if we can win the championship, I'll be very happy. It's another proper trophy added to the cabinet. But lads, that is where we're going to wrap up this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed Ibanez scoring worldies for fun. Honestly, 
Oh, I could watch, watch these two goals again and again and again. They're just so damn good. Look at that. Oh, so good. Look at that. Unbelievable. Anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. I've got a target to hit 300 subs by the end of this year. Hopefully we can do that. If not, it's not the end of the world. So I thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.